so often I have people come into the office and they say, oh, we just don't feel the same way about each other. We've grown apart. There's no spark anymore. Today's video, we're getting a little more personal. It's all about kissing. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like these videos, please click subscribe. We're providing these free resources to help you improve your mental fitness. Please stay to the end because we have some excellent resources that you may find very helpful. Think about it. You go for a walk and you go down the street and you see a beautiful home with lovely landscape and you think, oh, what happened there? It's really well planned. It was all overgrown and unkept. What happened? Same thing can happen in our relationships. We lay that nice firm foundation, we plan out our lives together. We're excited about the relationship and where it's going to go. But things happen, life happens, children happen, work happens. We put, what I often hear people say, our relationships on the back burner. Well, I'm concerned about back burner relationships because they are like one of those untended gardens. So let's look at how we can spice up our relationships. And one of the things we can do is go right back to the beginning. Do you remember your first kiss? I remember mine was not what I had hoped for, but time went on and more experience and we learn and we grow. If we think about our first kiss with our partner, maybe that is something that will inspire us. We know that anyone that goes online, it sounds like something a tween might do, go online and check out kissing. Well, if you do that, you might stumble across some recommendations for the six second kiss, the 10 second kiss, the 30 second kiss, the 20 second kiss, whatever. What they're trying to tell us is a prolonged kiss will help rekindle that desire. There's scientific proof behind it. We know that we get our hormones going by that intimate contact. It's that connection, you know, they call it the love drug, the dopamine. We get that going well, generally from that quick peck or blowing a kiss to our partner, but it's that deliberate, intimate engagement that we have. We get the oxytocin going and the oxytocin is really good for us because it's that bonding agent. It's that what makes us feel connected and loved. And so we want to develop that and we're going to develop that by engaging with our partner in a prolonged kiss. I was doing a little more research about it and I was kind of surprised to find out that we actually, I hope I'm not going to gross you out, we actually, when we're exchanging saliva, it does have a positive effect on the kiss. Who knew? Males have more testosterone, we know that, and the testosterone gets transferred to his partner and it increases the sexual desire. Not all of our prolonged kisses are going to lead to a sexual encounter. We want to make sure that people understand that. We're not using a kiss just for that reason. However, sometimes it does end up in that place. But we want to remember that we're using that to create the connectedness that we've maybe lost. It's going to feel uncomfortable at first if you haven't been initiating physical contact with your partner, but it is something that can be reconnected and the spark can be reignited. So do take some time to experiment. You see what works for you. Maybe you want to start with a six second kiss and see how that works. Having that prolonged kiss is healthy for us physically as well as emotionally. Who knew? There are new studies out there that are showing that reduction in stress because of a deliberate, regular engagement in kissing with our partner reduces our stress, which also impacts our physical health. And they've done some studies to show that it's reduced cholesterol even. So what's our excuse for not using this simple gift that we have to share that, even if we maybe don't feel like getting smoochy with our partner. It's probably a good thing to do. 
if you need some more inspiration, there are lots of books that will help us. We can start with two very popular titles, one called Sex Begins in the Kitchen, another called Rekindling the Desire. Have a look at some of these resources, check it out, experiment, see what works for you. Having that bond with your partner is essential. We don't want an untended garden. We want to trim back the hedges. We want to plant some new plants. I encourage you, take the step forward and be the one who initiates and experiment and rekindle that desire. If you enjoyed our video, please click on subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, we'd be happy to send you more information and we might even use your idea as a video in the future. Thanks for listening and take care of.